Welcome back to Better Biomed, where you're going to get real content for real technicians, and today is no exception for that. I know that I normally go over medical equipment, but we also go over uniforms and do-it-yourself type of information just as well, and today is exactly what we're going to do. So, for today, we are going to talk about repairing your pants. Now, hold on, hold on, it's not what you think. I guarantee that almost every one of you have had this exact same situation. I bet you didn't know that you can fix it with this cute little kit that you can find on Amazon. Link's gonna be in the video description. But guys, let's get right into it. Let's show you how we're gonna fix pants. Coming up next, right here. Let's do it. All right, guys, here is a set of my favorite pants. These are made by 511, and I've done videos on these. I do believe that these are the perfect pants for biomeds. And, you know, they're not the cheapest pants in the world, but they're definitely not the most expensive. I believe that this pair of pants is probably around 50 to 60 bucks. Again, not the cheapest pair, but definitely not the most expensive. Definitely my favorite, though. But when something goes awry like this, I don't know how to feel about it because. In some ways, you're like, why do they have to fail like that? And at the other time, you're like, there's got to be something I can do. I do not feel right about throwing away a perfectly good set of pants. If you, if you guys have learned anything about this channel, it's the fact that I think that we can do more for ourselves, like fix our own stuff. And here we are. So doing just a little bit of research, I found this cute little kit right here from Amazon. Again. It's gonna be in the video description, check it out. It's very inexpensive, and for what this allows you to do, I consider it to be a, a blessing. It's like $15, if I can remember correctly, again, don't quote me, but it's, it's pretty close to that. I'm gonna save a lot of money on this pair of pants, and I believe I got another pair where the snap is weak. So this kit, what it does, it replaces your snap right here and right here. You can also find this on jackets, you can find it on gloves. You can find these snaps on all sorts of gear. If you, if you guys got military gear, these snaps are all on that stuff too. And what happens is there's little spring-loaded pieces right here in the female socket. And those spring-loaded pieces grab onto the male snap. Normally, it makes a snappity snap type of sound. But guess what? This one doesn't do it because one of the spring-loaded arms is missing. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the entire snap, all right? So I'm going to bring the camera down nice and close. I'm going to show you guys how to change the snap. Um, and I, I do believe we're going to change out both sides too because in other words, there's going to be a color mismatch. These are brass colored and the ones I got coming in are like stainless steel colored, you know, details. Any real dude that I know of really wouldn't care as long as the pants are fitting. You know, the fact that snaps are mismatched colors, who cares? But just for the sake of, of this video, we're going to change them both anyway, so it's a nice matching set of snaps, all right? Okay, let's talk some tools, guys. So in order to remove snaps from clothing, there's a couple different tools that you should have. Um, one of them might be just a general set of adjustable pliers, all right? These ones here are lovely. I like them. Now, I've seen this process done before on jackets with a set of angle cutters. Angle cutters work beautifully. If you need a little bit of extra torquey torque, we got these guys right here. Uh, these are electrician's pliers. I believe that these ones are going to be my winners, right? Why struggle if you don't have to? So let's go and place the other stuff off to the side. Uh, since the female snap is the one that is creating all my problems, I think it's going to be my victim. So I'm going to grab on with a set of pliers because, mind you, this is brass, right? And you can loosen it up a little bit. Yeah. It's crazy how easy these snaps are to just pull right off. It took very little effort. I'm going to take my electrician's pliers. Now that I got those uh, loosened up, we're going to come in and without damaging the fabric and just trim the brass, right? Mind you, I probably should be wearing eye protection, but <laughs> that is the war we wage, right? Oh, I'm sure OSHA is going to be down on me. There we go. Okay. That allows me to remove the female snap from the fabric. Nope, oh, here. Let's go ahead and grab onto it with some pliers. Did I get it all? I didn't get enough. 
Ah, details. All right. We're going to use the angle cutters this time. There we go. And yeah. So the trick is, is to keep the hole as small as possible without damaging the fabric. And that without damaging the fabric part is pretty important, don't you think? So now I got it underneath. There we go. Pulled it through. And I have a nice little hole. And this is where the kit comes in. So there's multiple components to this kit. Mind you, I got brass on my desk. We have the backer. We've got two punches. We've got this one here for the female. This one here is for setting the male snap. And this guy here, which is, oh yeah, this looks like a punch for creating the hole in the fabric, right? See that? So the punch is if you don't have a hole yet, you can make a hole. Not a problem for us today. All right, so let's see. Let's set the male snap off to the side. At one, two, we got these guys right here. Okay, so you can see that these ones here are the outer snaps. These ones here are the inner snaps. They got the dingle hoppers. And I can set this guy off to the side so I don't spill it. Guys, if you ever have an open kit of something, take out only what you need and scoot it off out of the way, especially when you're going to be pounding the heck out of something. Because, you know, things like a bouncy to bounce when you start pounding on stuff. All right. Let's see. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change out the female snap in order to do this guy. There's two sides to your backer. There's a dome side, and then there is going to be the side for the male snap. All right. So we're going to take the dome side. I'm going to put the smooth front plate on there. We put the fabric on there with the little piece right here protruding through. And then we're going to put the female side on. And then we take this punch right here, stab it right in the middle. We just get, <laughs> we just beat the hell out of it from here. Right? We do it. All right. Apparently, it needs more love. Now, what the best part about this would be is if I had an arbor press. Um, an arbor press would probably make this an effortless job. But. Uh, I don't have an arbor press. Oh, that's nice. All right. So the way that you're going to check retention is you're going to try and spin the snap. All right. If you can spin the snap really easily, it's not tight enough. You got to go through right here on the rivet and you got to pound it a little bit further. Apparently I went off on this one because it's not rotating, <laughs> which is okay. That was the goal. Now let's try it. Look at that. I don't even have to go any further. Look at this. So I got, I got my, my snap, my mail, it's all working. Tell you what, just because I like doing that, I'm going to do this again. Right? That's what I'm talking about. All right. So let's pull this mail snap off. Uh, this one here is going to be pretty much the same thing. Actually, you know something? This one here, we might be able to do it a little bit easier because inside the button part right here is going to be the rivet. So if we just cut the button, we're probably going to be able to pull the rivet right out. There we go. Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice. I love it. Okay. So for the inside, remember there's two sides of this guy. I'm going to poke it the right way up. We have the dingle hopper down. Put the fabric through, put the stud on the front, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like one of the, the old adage of measure twice and cut once. Same thing. Like check to make sure you're doing it the right way. Here we go. Put the stud on there and hope I didn't blast you guys' ears out. Nice. That looks so good. Check that out. And what? Nice. There we go. So, guys, that is how you change out some snaps. So, I don't like throwing things away, guys. 
I do believe that we should be able to fix our own clothing. I do stitch my own clothing when I get holes in it. And obviously, I'm going to change out my own snaps. But uh, always looking for a better way of doing things. And obviously, I found it on Amazon. This kit just paid for itself right now on this video. It just paid for itself. It's fantastic because now these pants, well, I'm going to wear them now. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, there you go. Check it out. If you have any uh, pants or jackets with boogered up snaps, don't be afraid. They're brass. They're easy to cut off and just get in there, snap them off, and uh, yeah, pun intended, and then uh, change them out. Pretty easy, right? All right. Hope you guys like this video. If you do, remember, click down below. I do appreciate it. And uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.